Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for writing to our live session. I'm really sorry to hear about what's going on with your sister. It appears that after she was bitten by that cat and had the anti-rabies vaccination, she developed allergic reactions to it and to other things. I'm not really sure how long ago this has happened. And with that said, how long it's been going on that she can't eat normal food or go out. Um, you did mention that she had pseudo-allergic reactions to foods, chemicals, and scents. While it's not known at this point whether or not the vaccination for the anti-rabies has damaged her immune system or other parts of her body, um, it is a good thing, though, that you are consulting you know, different doctors um, from abroad that might have a different perspective. Um, unfortunately, the one physician that you have contacted um, who is a neuropath, um, has offered some advice and some input and possibly some remedies for your sister. Unfortunately, your father doesn't want to hire another doctor. If your father is of the opinion that she has, you know, something wrong with her mentally that is preventing her from eating, right, and possibly have her reactions, and in part, this may be true. I mean, if she had re allergic reactions to foods, you know, she might be scared to try something. She might be afraid to eat. That may be true. However, it still needs to be addressed. And on the other hand, it could be that the vaccination harmed her and she truly is having a lot of reactions to everything. So that said, it seems that your father um, appears to believe that vitamin D3 is a proper treatment and he would like her to take that rather than with the neuropath that you got her is suggesting. So there's a conflict in interest, there's a conflict in, in you know what is truly wrong and there's a conflict between family members as to how to deal with your sister and to help her. Um, with that said, sister, um, I would ask that you know if you could all meet as a family when things are calm and just talk about your sister, and maybe beforehand, just document everything that's been going on, right? Like, write down a list of, like, the dates, you know, that these things are happening. For instance, you said in November 2022, she was bitten by the cat. So maybe you want to start from then, and then just make a diary, like a log or a journal, of all of the food she's eaten, what the reactions are, and just keep a, a ongoing log of this, right? And present it at the family meeting. And that way people in your family will know what what she can eat, what she can't eat, what the reactions are, and possibly, you know, what foods to avoid. Um, if she's having reactions physically, um, there, I mean, there's no denying it, right? I mean, you may even want to um, add to this process by taking pictures of maybe the wounds on her neck or her gums um, and so forth. So keeping a really close um, monitor on her reactions to foods and other things is going to be important moving forward. When you have a family meeting, inshallah, if you choose to and discuss um, with your family what's going on, hopefully, inshallah, you can find some common ground, such as, yes, we need to find a correct treatment for her. And so everybody can be on the same page instead of arguing because the arguing and all of this is not helping your sister, obviously. If you could get on common ground with your family, inshallah, maybe you could all decide to get another opinion. I know you've had several, but perhaps maybe getting another opinion from a physician with the evidences, with the reactions to the certain foods, scents, and so forth, will help the doctors figure out better what's really going on. So with that said, sister, don't give up. Um, please do try to come together as a family. Please do document the times, dates, foods, chemicals, and scents that she's having reactions to. Take pictures and seek another opinion. We wish you the best.